All right, welcome back to another Spigot plugin development tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you all how you can use the event API part of Spigot to handle events on your Minecraft server. So what exactly are events? Well, think of it like this. Whenever something happens, you can consider that as an event. So whenever a user joins the server, that is an event. Whenever you place a block, that is also an event. Whenever you uh, you know try to go to sleep on a bed in Minecraft, that is also an event. And there are tons of events that you can handle. So we'll go ahead and look at a simple example, and then I'll show you uh, where you can find a list of events that you can handle. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is create a class that will implement the listener interface that comes from the Spigot API. So I'm going to go into my text editor, or my IDE, IntelliJ. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new class. And I'll call this my event listener. And we're going to implement the listener interface that comes from org bucket event. OK. And what you want to do next is you want to go ahead and inside the on enable method. So in your main uh, plugin class, what you want to do is you want to get the plugin manager and you want to register your events. So what we can do is we can uh, do this. We can call the get server method, get plugin manager. And then we can go ahead and call register events. And then we just have to pass the instance for my event listener. Like that. And then finally, we just have to pass in the instance this, which is just the my plugin class. Okay. So that's how we can register our events. Let me move this to the other screen. So now what we need to do is we need to go inside our class, our my event listener class. And what we're going to do is we want to listen to events now. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to use the event handler annotation, which is going to be imported from the event package. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and specify the event that we want to listen to. Now, how do we know uh, which event it is that we want to listen to? Well, according to the spigot MC docs, it says right over here, the event is specified by the type and the methods argument. Okay, so it will know what the event it is based off of the argument for the method. So you can see over here, the the uh, the argument is a player join event instance. Okay, which means that this is going to be handling the event whenever a player joins. And you can name the method whatever you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out the player join event. So what we'll do is we'll set up our method so public void on player join and i'll show you other examples so don't worry but we're going to import that player join event and then we'll name the argument event and then this event uh this player join event instance is going to have a lot of different methods and properties okay well, mostly just methods, getters, right? So we can get the join message. We can get the event name. We can set the join message. So if we want to change what is sent to the user when they join, we could do that. Uh, let's go ahead and set the join message to, hey there, uh, welcome to the server. Okay. And of course, you can always get other... Uh, other properties too. So if you wanted to get the username, you could just go ahead and call the get player method. That will give you the player instance. And then you can go ahead and call uh, get name or get display. Now, I'm not really too sure what the difference is between these two, but I'm sure uh, get name or get display name should be uh, similar. Let's test this out. So uh, what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and package our plugin. Okay. 
And let's go ahead and restart our server. And let's join the server. And let's see what happened. So there you go. It says, hey there, welcome to the server. Host my Twitch. So that's my username. Okay, and it's also being shown in the console as well. So that's how you can handle uh, that's how you can handle that event. Now, I think this message is only going to send it to the user itself. If you want to send messages like to the entire server, you can use the bucket uh, dot broadcast message uh, method. And then you can just go ahead and say welcome event dot get player get display name to the server. You can also do that. Let's repackage the plugin. Reload the server. And let's go into, let's disconnect, let's reconnect. And then you should see a bucket. Hey there, welcome to the server. There we go. Okay, I think they both broadcast to the whole server. I'm not too entirely sure. But yeah, these are different ways that you can uh, play around with uh, the event. Let's go ahead and handle a different event. All right, so where can you find a list of all of the events that you can possibly handle? Well, you can actually go over to the Spigot, uh, Spigot's Java docs and then look for the org bucket event package. And you can just look for the specific related package. So for example, if you want events related to player, you can just click over here and it'll tell you all of the events. Okay, and like I said earlier, like what it said in the, in the documentation, uh, the event that you're handling is based off of the parameter you pass in the method. Okay, and I'll, and I'll show you that in just a second. But uh, if you also want to go into your IDE, you can also do this. You can hover over event. You can actually right click, go to, and I think if you do declaration, uh, you can actually see, well, actually, you don't even need to go here. You can just go over to external libraries, look for the spigot jar and go to bucket, go to event, and then these are all of the events, or these are the categories, right? You can expand it and you can look at the different events that are possible, okay? So I think what we'll do is let's handle an event, let's handle another player event. Let's do one where, uh, let's see. And again, you have to kind of look through these. Let's, uh, let's, let's do one where the player is fishing. Okay, so let's go over to our code. Let's go ahead and create a method called public void on player fishing. Now remember, the name of the method does not matter. It's what we pass as the uh, parameter is what matters. So if we want to handle the player fish events method, then we need to go ahead and take this and then type annotate it. So like this. So player events player fish event like that event okay and we also need to use the event event handler annotation and then we can go ahead and grab a bunch of different properties okay so what i'll do is i'll just simply just just for demonstration purposes i'll just do bucket broadcast message and i'll just say let me do this uh, event dot get player get display name is now fishing just do this just for an example let's repackage our plugin let's reload the server and let's go ahead and disconnect let me reconnect just to make sure that the uh the welcome message still works okay that's good let's grab a fishing rod and let's test out the event. So let's try this out. Okay, there you go. You can see that on the bottom left, it says host my Twitch is now fishing. Okay. So you can see that uh, the event is now being handled. Okay. Now, uh, if we look at the code, we can see that right over here in the events. Uh, if we were to reference the pro the argument, the property or argument, you can see that there's a bunch of different stuff, right? There's get caught, get player, get hook, get state is canceled, right? So there's a lot of different things that you can that you can check, right? And of course, I would encourage you to read the Java docs 
just so that you can be sure what each event does. So for example, uh, if I want to understand what exactly each method does, I can see. Uh, I can over here says is canceled gets the cancellation state of this event. Get hook gets the fishing hook, gets the state of fishing, get exp to drop. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. Okay, but you saw that the uh, the player fish event was triggered whenever I reeled the hook in and then when I took it back out. So I think you need to actually use one of these methods to check the state uh, to see what you want to do, right? I think if you call get state, uh, let's see, it'll tell you, uh, yeah, it'll, you can compare it to whatever it is, right? Caught entity, caught fish, failed attempt, reel in. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to handling events. So I encourage you to look through the docs and just practice, you know, handling different events, play around with it and see how it works and just build the intuition behind it and then try implementing something yourself. But so hopefully you all understand how handling events work in the Spigot uh, plugin API. And that'll be pretty much it for this tutorial. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next episode. Peace out.